prepare to gag on my eleganza. Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I have something extra special for you. As you know, last year I started the search to find the next beauty influencer. Literally thousands of you answered the call, and I was blown away by what I saw. Wow. Over the next month, I'll test their artistry, camera presence, and potential to be a beauty superstar. But in the end, only one can become an instant influencer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I need to see your beautiful faces though. Lights. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi. oh my God. When I called you guys to tell you that you made the show, we actually gave you your first compact challenge. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Benny, we're gonna go ahead and start with you. Tell me about this makeup look and how it defines you as an artist. This is just a mixture of Japanese cherry blossoms and a scenery with mountains on my forehead. The mountains remind me of my father, and my mother lived in Japan. So I went for this exotic scene to represent the future that is ahead of me. I come from such a small town where there's nothing to do, and I felt like I would always be stuck there. But now that I'm here, I realize that I have a chance and I am very excited. And that is the right attitude to have. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Growing up, I always felt like I really couldn't be myself most of the time. I wanna be! What made me feel comfortable in breaking me out of my shell was finding the love of makeup because it gave me more confidence and I can't wait to blossom in this competition. One note that I would love to give you is that the mountain story and the cherry blossom story are both beautiful, but they're not very cohesive together. So I would love to see how you could connect those in the future. Thank you. Surprise, bitches. In today's challenge, you guys are going to be making your very own reveal video. Woo! My permanent judge that'll be with us the entire series is a legend in the beauty community. She is the president and creative director of Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina. We'll be here today. I love Norvina and I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. And also our second celebrity guest judge is somebody that can only be described as iconic. She's also very hot. It's Paris Hilton. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this should be super, super interesting. Your time starts now. Oh my God. Three hours seems like a lot of time, but once you start working and rushing, it is no time at all. My skin looks cute. This ain't no allegedly. I'm going to just show you guys how to contour, get snatched, and get a man after this. I do feel like I'm really good at contour, but not cream. Okay, sis? Okay. I'm focusing on the cheeks because it gives a lot of definition. My plan is to make a very lighthearted, funny, but also informative video. It's perfect, and it's so creamy, and it gives you that glowy look. We're done! Cut, period. So excited to see what you have to offer. Benny, you're gonna be up first. The rest of you guys can all go take a seat. It's important to do well in this first elimination challenge because otherwise, you're going home. And I do not want to be the first one to go home. All right, Benny, let's go ahead and take a look at your commercial. <laughs> hey guys, it's Benny Sarah. Sis, come join the fam. Okay, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the KKW Beauty um, Cream Contour Sticks. So once I have the product on my back of my hand, I'm going to take a stippling brush, something like this, and I'm gonna kind of pinch it, and I'm gonna go in with the brush, and I'm just gonna take it and kind of get my contour on. You know, sis? Hi everyone, okay, so I just did the rest of my makeup off camera and now I'm back. The cream contour sticks look amazing. All I did was really just set them with loose translucent powder because this does the trick. All right, Benny, well, thank you so much for sharing your video with us. I would love to give you some positive notes. I really, really like how your personality came through in this video, and that is really, really important when it comes to being an influencer. But I would have loved to get the opportunity to actually watch you apply that product, blend it out a little bit more, and kind of all over the face rather than just on the cheekbones because we contour kind of everywhere. Yes, I understand. Marina? Hi, Benny. Hi. I actually have the pleasure of creating product reveal videos all the time for Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
And one of the things that I would have loved to have seen from you is you explaining what the product is first and foremost. What is contour? How does this differ? The different ways that you can contour. You can do it with cream, you can do it with powder. When you are actually revealing a product, you have to kind of explain it to the viewer as if they have no idea about the product, about the category for the first time. That's a really good point. Paris? I loved your personality in the video, and I love that you say sis because sis over here always says it, and I just, I love that. So I feel that really just, you know, when the viewers are watching, it makes them feel like they're part of your family. That's what I want, that's what I want to do. I want to, like, um, make everyone happy and entertain because I was put down most of my life saying that I would never get anywhere. A lot of people really don't believe in me. Well, look where you are today. So exactly. Here in Hollywood, shooting with all of us, and I think you're a star. Thank you so much, that means a lot. Thank you, Benny, for sharing your commercial with us. Thank you. You can go ahead and sit down. I have my favorite, just because I think he's so cute. There's just something special about Benny. I, I just like felt for him, like when he was talking, it like almost made me want to cry, but I didn't want to cry because I didn't want my eyelashes to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Norvina, who is your top of this week? My top of the week is Ashley. She was very polished. She showed the product up close. She did a little spin, she did application. <gasps> Okay, I want to fight both of you right now because Benny was in my least favorite of the group if I had to split it in half. And I think Ashley's video was very professional. Agree. But the personality wasn't there. She yes. claimed that she was excited and bursting. Yes. But I was like, girl, you're fine. And I, oh. Good morning, Benny. I am a pink bitch. Sweating so bad. I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can to get it done. That's good enough for now. Oh my god. Just need gloss, just need gloss, just need gloss. Where's lip gloss? Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> 30 minutes is up and Benny sticks out the most. He looks flawless. His looks so good. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Maybe this look was not the right call. Room full of tin. I'm always grand prize. I'm literally sweating. I'm like dying. I look over and I'm like, Ashley looks flawless. Benny has perfect skin. And then mine looks like crap. I don't know how this is going to pan out. Moving on to Benny. Hi. Hello, girl. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. OK, tell me about this look. So I wanted to match with my outfit because I love pink. It's like my favorite color. Yes. And I wanted to kind of symbolize it with my um, glowy base. And if I was to go out and I had no time, yeah. I would put this on and go out and slay. Yeah. I think this look is very, very cohesive and well put together. Sometimes simple is better. Yes. My note for you, your inside of your lash is popping yeah. off a little bit. So I would love to see just a little bit more time taking that. I actually have um, like an eye condition where like my eye waters a lot, this eye. Yeah. So the eyelash kind of like popped out. If the inner corners are watery, sometimes what I do is I'll just focus my lash on the outer portion to really get that lifted look and just really focus a lot of mascara on the inside to avoid any lifting. Yeah. And then as well, this highlighter that you have on is beautiful. It's gonna photograph well, but in person, it does look a little bit intense. Mm -hmm. I would love to see you try to soften up the highlight and contour just a little bit mm -hmm. for more of like a natural look. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great job. Ashley, I love that you use techniques that you're familiar with in order to create a successful look. Benny. Your look today, I think, was beautiful, and this is what we want to see. Both of you two did an amazing job today, but it's really about who could show up at an event unclockable. The winner of today's compact challenge is Ashley. Congratulations. We're going to be doing a style of makeup that can't exactly be rushed. Drag. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! I am so excited. I'm nearly a drag queen. Okay. I am so floored. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ready for action. Well, being a successful drag queen from YouTube is something I am an expert in. <laughs> so I want to see bold choices. I want to see bright colors, clean lines. I want audiences to see you from space. <laughs> Just go big. Or go home. This ain't no allegedly. What wig do you think you guys are going to go for? I'm going for the pink one. Me too. It's going to complement the idea yes. I have. Same. Realistically, everybody's going for the pink one because it's the cutest. I have an idea because there's this fashion doll that I own and it, that image in my mind is just perfect. I'm sorry, Benny, but I'm getting that pink wig. All right, artists, five, four, three, two, 
One, go! Oh, you're so beautiful! Wig snatched. Literally. Sorry, Benny. Damn. Girl, I'm really pissed off. I'm sorry, but I really am. Why? What's up? I was going for that wig. Because Indigo took the wig, I have to change my look and modify it. This is horrible. Whatever. Well, still gonna beat him. Medium deep. The sauce, I can't. My idea is to take neon face paint, give a little streak in the hair, some pigtails, and make it look really cute. Quickly dry it out. Mike, it was off. Oh, what's our drag names, you guys? Vanilla Clam. Mine is gonna be Smash Me. Issa Woman. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I know my drag name. What's your drag name? Do Too Much. Benny put his eyebrows pretty high up, like way above his natural brow, which is one of the mistakes that people make a lot when they first do drag. So I'm really hoping that his liner application is large to fix that space gap. Yeah, I agree. That looks great, Benny. Thank you. You have to do something about these eyes. I feel so stressed. Oh. These eyes need to stop watering right now, because right now I look like a hot mess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this look together, because my eyes are watering so badly. My eyes are like my worst enemy right now. So, I'm covering my watering eyes with neon tears. OK, now I need lashes. How much time do we have left? 33 minutes. 30? Oh, hell no. Where did the time go? Like, seriously. This is your 10 minute time call. Ooh. And not a drag queen 10 minutes, which is 40 minutes. This is the real thing. 10 minutes. Oh, that's dope. Oh, these brows are not even friends. Honestly, I'm not too experienced in doing brows. The face that this shows is like how I feel right now. With these brows. All right, I'm gonna go get James and Norvina and I'll see you at judging. Bye. Bye. We always want to take it to the next level. I <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to introduce you guys to our guest judges. We have the legendary makeup icon, Norvina, president and creative director of Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and also the skinniest legend in the entire world, Trixie Four. Mattel. Yes. <laughs> Benny, come on forward. Hey. Oh, that's the twirl. Yeah. All right, tell us about this look. One of my dolls that's in my collection is all full of neon colors, and I wanted to bring that to life. But then once I started doing like the eyeshadow and everything, my eyes started watering really, really bad. Yeah. So I had to compromise because as an influencer and a makeup artist, you have to make it work. You can't just give up. So I decided to take my emotions and put it into my artwork. So I took the neon paint and I made it as a splatter tear to kind of show all of the emotions I had inside. And I also did the flowers to represent me blooming as a person. One note that I would love to give you, there's a lot going on here. I would have loved to see either the flowers or the tears because I think they're kind of competing yeah. for the space on the bottom of your face right now and it makes it feel a little bit less cohesive. I think makeup wise, it could have been smarter to do without one. I think that conceptually this is my favorite look. It's so beautiful. I love a trippy neon kind of acid Barbie look that is so beautiful. Symmetry would have made this look gag worthy. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, these are the best I think brows of the night. You are so petite. I think this is almost too many lashes on the top. Don't, oh. listen, I'm Trixie Mattel and I'm saying it to the camera, maybe too many lashes on top. Cause I almost, I can't see your eye makeup. I really yeah, can't. I, I was thinking that too. Cause I do have like a really pretty cut crease. With, and um, I only literally glitter. just saw it just now. They're beautiful, but for drag, oh my gosh, you need that 55th row at the Hamburger Mary's to see this, you know? Yes, definitely oh. understand. Tough with drag because the looks are also different. I didn't come to crash the party. I can't let end it. Benny. It's so cool. It's like acid brats. I'm obsessed. 
I wish that the symmetry was better. I wish that the application was a little bit cleaner. This was a little messy. It was a little messy. Yeah. Right. I love the concept, right. but it's messy. I mean, sometimes we love people even though they're messy. <laughs> Literally, how do we fire her if she's already on set? <laughs> Somebody please inform me. Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> I... Hi, Benny. Hey. Hi, James. The judges and I loved your Neon Club Kid look, even with the flowers. It's been really incredible to see your personality blossom. You're on to next week. Thank you so, so, so much. It's Brittany, bitch. You're here. I'm so happy. I told you. I need to stop overthinking. I know. That's four times in a row now. <sighs> Good morning, artists. Good morning. Good morning. We have to talk. And I saw what you guys did. You all look <laughs> really confused. You know what you did. I honestly feel like you all owe me an apology. And scene. Oh my god. Really got me, James. Jesus really Christ. did. You guys are going to have 15 minutes to run anywhere you want on set and to film a one minute, no editing, apology video. I like this. All right, artists, your time starts. Oh my God. <laughs> no! The things I do. I just really want to apologize and I want to change. <laughs> I've been through a scandal in the past couple days. The lash. The lash! <laughs> my nose looks so much thinner than it does in real life. And I, it's because I have a Squidward nose. <laughs> Benny, you are the winner of today's contact challenge, which means you are going to get a major advantage in today's elimination challenge. I won the advantage. I can't believe this. My strategy was to be crazy and to make James laugh. Oh my gosh, I have a win. Hi, sister. Collab videos are super important because two influencers get to come together to share ideas, stories, and also their audiences. And if done well, it should pay off for both people. Hello, sister. Hey, guys. Hello. Hi guys. Hello you guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> choose very wisely. These guest collaborators are huge. I choose Bretman. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Benny and Bretty. I've been watching him for years. Who do you want to pair up next? Okay, I think I'm gonna go Gabriel with Nima. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Come on down. Hi. Nikita with Ashley. Hi. Hi. It's okay. Hi. We have the same shoes, so oh. watch out. And then finally, that leaves Louie with Kaylin. Come here. We knew it. We have the same yes. jacket. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> now that you guys are all paired up, artists, you're going to have three hours to film and edit a collaboration video with your influencers. They'll be three to five minutes long in order to keep them fun, unique, and most importantly, very, very entertaining. $50,000 is on the line, and while we're on the topic of collaboration, of course, a collaboration with me, yours truly. Oh. So remember to blend, but don't blend in. Three hours until upload time, your time starts now. Let's go, Benny. Like, literally, I've been following you since 2014. And um, I just decided to get into makeup because of you and James. Oh my god, that's so sweet. And that's why I, I love picked that. you. Yeah, let's go. The plan of the video is to do a five minute makeup challenge that's really funny, and me and Bretman together is gonna be hilarious. Okay, come closer to me. Just because you know James is gonna be so particular with that shot. Three, two, one, start! Ah! Foundation, foundation, foundation. Girl, it's not coming out. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bye. Love y'all. Bye, Bye, B. Bye, B.
<laughs> that was really good. Oh my gosh, Gabriel. What did I need? If he's not back in like 10 minutes, that's not good. Because editing takes a long time. This ain't no allegedly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, let's add some transitions. We could even record <laughs> it. Like, I feel like it'd be funny. Oh my god, you're right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do I need a lot of transitions? No, you don't. Betty, Your videos better be done and ready for the fans to enjoy. I'm so excited to watch, and I will see you in the judging room. Benny, we're gonna start with your guys' collaboration. The rest of you can take a seat. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and check out your title and thumbnail. Oh my god. <laughs> Iconic five minute makeup challenge. Would you click or skip? There's something really funny about it. I would totally click. Absolutely click. In terms of the title, Personally, I'm bored of the word iconic. I feel like it's like very overused. I guess. Yeah. Give me some excitement. Give me some enthusiasm. All right, let's check out this collaboration video. Hey, bitch. <laughs> it's your girl, Benny Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> well, whatever. It's me, Bremen Rock. Miss Benny, can I just ask you, why are you not wearing makeup right now? You well, really we're going to be doing the five minute makeup challenge. Shut the <laughs> I did all of this in two hours, and you're telling me I only have five minutes to redo all this? I have a date after this. Uh, start! Ah. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> and we blending, bitch. And we blending, bitch. Oh, and we blending, bitch. At a time, bitch. 29, 28, 27. Hurry up, bitch. Wow. <laughs> 11, <laughs> 9, five, oh my God. 4, 3, Two. Oh. One. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much, Bretman, for being in this video. And we both look a very man. interesting. But, but I had so much fun. That's it for this video. So, bitch, be you. Always be you. And stand out. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, this video was definitely very fun and fast-paced, which personally, I definitely like to watch, mm -hmm. but maybe with like a little bit less of like the profanity and like yeah, bitches and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Norvina, what do you think? I really like watching you guys. You guys Thank were you. high energy. You could tell you were having fun. Nicole, what did you think? I felt like throughout the whole video, you were kind of cut off. So just try to keep that in mind, like center yourself. And I also would have loved, instead of you screaming out how many seconds were left, maybe you could have put a clock on there because that's when like you're going to say funny stuff. Like that's good quality mm -hmm. content that you guys could have had banter in, in those 30 seconds. Yeah. Benny, you won today's compact challenge. What was your strategy in picking Bretman and then also assigning the influencers. I picked Bretman for me because as I started to make up in 2015, um, you and Bretman were like the only beauty boys I really watched and that really inspired me to do makeup. And for everyone else, I was just trying to like pair who I thought would work together. Yeah, so it was definitely like a, a positive. Yes. This is a competition though. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for sharing your video with us. Great yes. job. Amen. This is what this is beyond drained. Bretman was like such a big support for Confidence me. Confidence boost. But I just am scared because you never know. This video was super fun, but it feels like he's like putting on a persona. Yeah. I enjoyed watching theirs the most out of everyone. Really? Yeah, and I felt like Benny really held his own. <sighs> I wanted to give you all some news together this time. All right. Some of your collab videos today really clicked, but some of them maybe want to click away. Ashley, Benny, and Kaylin. Congratulations, the three of you have made it to the finale. Please come join me back in the workroom. The way that this will feel complete is if I win. I cannot believe I made it to the top. I'm literally a senior in high school from a tiny town in Pennsylvania, and it's so, so, so hard to have opportunities like this competition. And I'm in the finale. That is crazy. It feels amazing to be at the end of this competition. That means that I'm really talented and I belong here. I made it this far and I'm so much closer to achieving my dreams. Winning this whole competition would mean everything to me. Enough of the emotions though, because we have a challenge to do. Remember to blend, but don't blend in.
Are you guys nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm more, I'm mostly excited because I've been wanting to do this look for a hot minute. So you already have something in mind, Vinny? Um, yeah, I've been having it in mind since I even got on the plane to come here. What? Like, tell me your idea, Vinny. I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, so do you know those? Oh, like, you're serious. What? Vinny, this is a competition. Oh. To finally put together a look that I've been wanting to do for so long, and I cannot wait to impress the judges because I feel like this look is the one. Okay, I want to go for a really hot red lip for this look because this, even though I don't like red lips, I'm going to make it work. I feel like people are going to think I'm like so like inappropriate because I'm going for like a kinky bunny look, but I'm not that inappropriate, I swear. Ah! I'm like in my head right now. Okay, so I had this idea in my head for weeks, and I'm so happy I finally get to like create it. Yeah. It's a mixture of like this bunny mask, like where it's like kind of like what Ariana Grande wore in Dangerous Woman. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to actually be a bunny. So it's like a bunny wearing the mask. Okay. I'm a little bit worried with this because it is very, very similar to what Ari wore in that music video. What's what's your messaging behind it? Um. I'm not sure. You need to come up with your concept and you need to have a strong message behind it. That's what's going to sell it and that's what's going to make the audience want to love it and also recreate it. And I'm worried that almost like this look, you're kind of hiding behind this like Benny mask. Yeah. And I want to see Benny as a I person because we love Benny. So think of your look. Think of what I just told you about you and showing us who Benny truly is because this is a good start. But I want to see you create something unique. All right? All right. I don't want to take up too much of your time because okay. the clock is ticking. Thank you so much. But good luck, Thank okay? You. Okay. What James told me kind of threw me off because I have no other idea. And I already have my ears made, and those took some time to make and effort. You guys, I'm going to tell everybody this just like I just told Benny. You want these looks to be unique. You guys want to be trendsetters, not followers. I don't know what to do. I'm stressing out. This is not good. Like, this is bad. What did he say? He was like, it's not original because Ariana Grande did it and... I would listen to what he said. That's, on, that's the only thing I'm gonna say. I mean, he's literally the one that's gonna be judging your look. Surprise, bitches. James thinks my look is unoriginal, but it's my fault for not explaining it thoroughly. So I'm writing down what I think the look means to me and why it's unique. And I'm just gonna go with it, even though I know I'm taking a risk continuing with this look. Do you, boo. Benny's weakness is that his concepts typically don't make much sense, or at least they don't relate to what he's trying to portray. Well, look at my hair. Ooh. My hair is so slick. I love them so much, but the other girls are just doing writings on their face. My look involves a lot of techniques. I'm literally putting cotton on my face with spirit gum. That's commitment. I can't breathe out my nose. Holy shit. <laughs> And I feel like that's what makes an instant influencer, someone who will risk their own skin to do a look. What is happening? That looks really good, Benny. Thank you. The ears are not sticking to my head. This isn't staying, this isn't good. And I feel like since I have no time, I'm literally just rushing and doing whatever I can to get it done. And I'm so close to winning but if my ears fall off, it could ruin the look. I have duct tape in my hair, but I really don't care. Ooh, you're going to regret that later. I'll be fine with my $50,000. Shots fired. Hopefully they stay on. That's all I'm asking for. Artists, you guys have about 10 minutes remaining. Don't forget, you have a photo shoot after, so you want to make sure your makeup is perfect and ready to go and camera ready. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks finished? Like, no shade, Vinny, but please stop talking to me. This is, like, all the pressure in the world right now, and I just need to get this done. This ain't no allegedly. So what's the whole idea with your look? Very flirty and very fun, mm -hmm. but also very liberating and feeling like letting go of yeah, all stress. I mean, a glitter red lip's always liberating. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> thinking, like, like okay. very good poses, fun po Yes. I have never done a photo shoot before, but I feel so fierce. I'm doing a cute little bunny prancing look. Gorgeous. And I feel like James' photographer is living for it. Do you want to keep shooting or are you happy with that one? I like that one. I'm very confident with the shot I chose because I felt this one was perfect. Yep, that's me. This experience has been life-changing. No one in my small town has ever made it this big like me. So I'm definitely gonna be 
the word around the street. Benny, why don't you come hop on over? <laughs> 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 I'm very, very pumped to see this photo. Ooh, very hippity hoppity. Tell us about this look today and why you created it. Okay, when we were talking earlier and you kind of were like iffy about me doing this look, I took time afterwards to write down why I want to do this look. I wanted to show that I am very quiet, sweet, innocent, hopping all over, bunny on the bottom, but I'm also very fierce. Yeah, it's like putting on a mask. Oh, f I guess in my whole life I've always been putting on an act because I've been always trying to act all happy, but I was always just very depressed and always felt like I had nothing. And then I came here and I felt like I'm here for a reason and I, I matter. You do matter. And I'm so proud of you for realizing that and feeling that internally. And it definitely reflects in this look today. I'm pouring out my heart and showing this look. I feel like the connections of my emotions really show the judges who I really am. Did you make these ears, by the way? I did. I took hard paper and then I covered them in black nail polish to make them very like glossy. Nail polish? Yeah, black oh, nail polish. That is dedication. And super glue. And I put that on my skin. And I oh my commitment, gosh. commitment. I feel like the ears, you could have just made it a lot more simple. A piece of construction paper, some prosade glue would have stuck them on in one second. It would have come out a lot more crisp, a lot more clean. I think it could have been cleaned up a bit. Can you still breathe? When I was like first being on, I really sniffed up a lot of cotton. But <laughs> commitment. Yeah. Okay. It is pain. I'm very proud of you for putting all that work and thought into it, but it's not always about that. Mm -hmm. This challenge is for everyone to copy it or to recreate it. People want something a little easy, a little fun. I definitely should have like thought of that before I started this. Thank you so much. When it comes to this makeup look, I love what you did with the lower part of the face. I think it's really cool and creative. I think the textures with those colors, with the glitter lips, um, it looks really fun and cute. When I look at this look though, I, I'm not seeing a trend. I'm seeing like a Halloween look, a fun little mm -hmm. DIY Halloween look. All right, maybe this is the next Halloween trend. Thank you, Mario. <sighs> oh, f Oh. Are almost done. I literally cannot believe it. It's so crazy. How you doing over there, Benny? Yeah. Those oh. those had a time limit on them. They really did. Let's hope these last. Let's go ahead and hip hop on over oh to boy. Benny the Bunny. This is hard for me because there's something very endearing about Benny. Um, very charming, very sweet. Um, he's easy. He's like a sort of the person that's very easy to love but I just didn't love the look and I didn't love the photograph. It was not my favorite. I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to see like his face. I didn't really get to see his eyes. I didn't really get to see who Benny was. Right. I have to agree with Mario and I think that while this is artistic, it can be a little scary for some. Yeah. And definitely not something that I would run out and want to replicate. But at least the character had a really good explanation yes. behind it. I think a lot of what Benny is lacking is just an understanding and a read on what it means to be influential. But he's also very young, if they understand, he's 18 years old, and I just think, could you, if you can imagine all of the little boys out there around the world that have a similar story to him, yeah. that could relate to him. Um, so I do think, influencer-wise, I do think that he has the potential to be a really great and powerful influencer. Agreed. I, I, the way that this will feel complete is if I win. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Well, this was definitely not easy, no. but I think we have a final decision. We do. Yep. Let's bring them in. Thank you so much. Being here, I learned to be humble, be confident, don't hide behind something, and be you. Because you're only one person and you can only show yourself. Honestly, this was the best experience of my whole entire life. But in the end, only one can become an instant influencer.